Hey guys, welcome to the video. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you stopped by. My name is Emma Capotis. I'm a content creator from New Jersey. My channel is mainly focused on creating videos for fans of dance music and music festivals. However, on the side, I am also a social media and content coach. So today's video actually falls under that category. I am gonna be talking to you all about the eight things you need to know before starting a podcast. Now I have started two podcasts. My first one, Rave Culture Cast, I started in April 2019. And my second one is Festival Insider Podcast, which actually just kicked off this February. So you can say I'm completely obsessed with the podcasting world. It has opened so many opportunities for me and I have learned a lot along the way, you guys. I am self-taught. I didn't know anything before I dove into my first podcast. So now I'm coming at you guys with some things you need to know. So the number one thing I will say that you should know before diving into starting a podcast is you should invest in a microphone or something that's gonna give you high quality audio. This is something that I think a lot of beginners skip out on and you can easily tell when you listen to a podcast whether or not they have good recording equipment. Now good does not necessarily mean expensive. There are a ton of options out there on the market. I have a microphone that's about $45 from Amazon and I also have a microphone that's over $120. I use both of them but I will say investing in some sort of microphone will be beneficial to you in the long run and it will just make your podcast sound professional from the get-go. Number two, this is another misconception. You do not have to have any experience in editing audio. I had zero. I had never edited a podcast, didn't know anything about audio editing, and I think that's one of those technical details that people get a little bit nervous about or it might seem like a daunting task to learn. Let me tell you, YouTube is a beautiful thing, you guys. You can learn the basic editing techniques that you need to know on programs like Audacity or Adobe Audition or even GarageBand, which will help you to edit your podcast with only like a couple little tweaks and it will make it sound incredible. Leave me a comment down below if the technical aspects of creating a podcast is what's holding you back from starting, because I can tell you, you will learn along the way. The number three thing you should know before starting a podcast is that planning is everything. I feel like on the outside looking in, it might seem really simple, right? You plug in your microphone, you sit down, you start talking, easy peasy, no problem. You edit it, you put it up. Wrong. Planning is everything when it comes to creating a podcast. It's really difficult to actually sit down and record a solo episode and talk for 45 minutes to an hour with absolutely no plan or script or outline. If you wanna to piece together a more professional sounding episode, a key component is how well you've prepared before you even hit record. So what I like to do is pre-plan my episodes a couple in advance so I always know what's coming up. This will be really helpful, for example, if you collect submissions for upcoming episodes so you need to leave time to get emails or feedback to come in. It's also really important if you are scheduling interviews, you need to give enough time to schedule those in advance and God forbid somebody cancels on you or something doesn't work out, you need to have your episodes pre-planned. Writing scripts is something that saves me so much time as well. I do everything in advance, so that way when you sit down to record, you're not scrambling to think of what you're gonna say and you don't waste time writing your script on the spot. These tips are good so far, right you guys? I wanted to pause really quickly to let you know that if you are actually considering starting a podcast and you think you need a little bit more help, well, you guys are in the right place because I officially opened my podcasting course, How to Successfully Create and Launch a Podcast from Scratch, which is now officially open for enrollment. This is a six week live course, which will be kicking off on Tuesday, May 4th. I will be teaching you guys the exact framework you need to create a podcast from scratch all the way up until you launch it. So if you have any questions about how to pick a topic, how to find a name, branding, what recording equipment you should be using, what hosting services, how to edit, how to promote it, 
All of that will be covered inside this six week course. I will be coaching you every single week and we will have a community group chat so you will have support from other course members. There will be a link down below in the description box to register and enrollment will officially close for this course on Friday, April 30th. So I hope to see you guys in there. It will definitely be worth the investment and it is my personal mission to help you finally launch your podcast. All right, let's get right back into it. All right, the number four thing I wanted to tell you guys before starting a podcast is that word of mouth can be a lifesaver. You do not need to run all of these crazy ads and pay to promote your podcast, especially as you are starting out. I have organically grown my podcast and let me just tell you, if you can build a community around whatever it is that you're talking about, that can take you so far and can open so many different doors for you. If you continue to deliver value each and every week, which means you're posting consistently and you make your audience feel included, so you can do different shout outs, you can create a Facebook group or a Discord, anything that will make your audience feel like they're a part of the podcast with you, will help you spread the word of your podcast. It's also definitely worth mentioning that you should make your podcast super shareable. So consider starting social media pages, cut up clips, do audiograms, whatever it may be that will spread the word of your podcast online. Okay, number five, monetization takes time. Now this might be different for everybody, but from my personal experience, it definitely took me a little bit of time before I started monetizing my podcast. Now there are definitely different ways you can approach monetization, but it does take time to be able to do things like turn on ads or actually see results from some of your affiliate marketing or to get sponsorships. You need to reach a certain threshold in the amount of downloads that your episode has. So definitely focus on just producing high quality content and delivering value each week and then monetization will come over time. But I just wanted to mention, you do not need crazy numbers to monetize either. Again, there are things like affiliate marketing. So if you want to do your own ad read and sign up for a program like Amazon affiliates or if you already work with a company, so you can put links in your show notes and if somebody buys the product, you can earn a certain percentage. So that's a really good way to go. You could also launch your own merch line at some point that is an avenue that I've gone down and again with certain hosting services they help pair you up with ad partners as well so these are all options you have out there to monetize your podcast okay the number six thing you should know before starting a podcast interviewing can be an extremely rewarding process now you might be thinking I don't want to do interviews at all I want to do a solo podcast I'm not interested in having people on that is sort of how I approached my first podcast. However, throughout this whole process, I have learned that having guests on and interviewing people completely changes the game for you. Who can relate to this? Does the idea of interviewing somebody, whether over the phone or on a video call, totally freak you out or overwhelm you? If it does, let me just give you a couple reasons here why you should reconsider that. One, it helps you fill the time. Again, until you sit down to record a solo episode, you realize how hard it is to fill up a certain amount of time. So having another guest on there definitely helps fill that time. Plus the added energy you get from, you know, bouncing back and forth and having another person there to chat with, I feel like really adds to the podcast and makes it more interesting and exciting. Number two, you can network and meet so many people. So if you are using your podcast as a way to get your name out there in your industry, maybe to get a job, to network, having guests on is like top tier. I'm telling you guys, it is so good. It will open so many doors for you. It's a really great way to meet other people. Plus you could potentially start interviewing people that you've only ever dreamed of. I've had that experience interviewing certain electronic music artists on my podcast that I had no idea I would ever be able to reach. My podcast has allowed me to do that. Number three, consider having guests on because it helps with your organic reach as well. It really is a win-win situation because if you have a guest on, they're clearly there to just have a conversation but also to promote something, so it helps them. But it helps you in return for all those reasons I mentioned. Plus, if they share the podcast and they have a bigger platform than you, that introduces your content to a whole new audience. And the last thing I'll say about interviewing that you should consider for your podcast is that it improves your skills tenfold. So interviewing has helped me in so many different ways. I feel like it's helped my confidence, it's helped me think on my feet, it's improved my speaking and listening skills. 
It's made me become more observant. It's made me become a better researcher because I have to do all of this in-depth research to come up with questions for the guests that I have on my podcast. So really interviewing people on your podcast can do so many amazing things for you. It's just something to consider before you get started. Okay, we're almost there. Number seven, consistency is key. I preach this as a social media coach across all of my platforms, but with podcasting, this really, really rings true. How many times have you seen a podcast where you listen and then all of a sudden they stop posting or they take a couple weeks off or they get really inconsistent? Uh, it definitely falls off your radar because there are so many other podcasters out there who are delivering content every single week. A lot of people can't keep up with the time commitment. And again, if you pre-plan, if you get ahead, you won't have an issue falling behind because you will always have stuff recorded in advance. So that can definitely help you keep consistent. All right, and number eight, I know this is hard for some people, but the last thing you should know is that done is better than perfect. I can't stress this enough. So many people don't start their podcasting journey because they don't think it's ready yet or they're not sure about their artwork or they're nitpicking over the smallest little details and it keeps pushing their launch date back. Let me just tell you, you can improve things over time. It should not hold you back from launching your podcast because it will never happen if you keep coming up with excuses not to start. So what I mean by that, when I launched my podcast, I had a certain logo, I had certain intro music. Again, it was a solo podcast and over time, I decided to go back and rebrand it. So I changed the name of my podcast, I updated the logo, I updated the different style guidelines that I had, and I started interviewing guests more frequently. So I rebranded about like nine months into my podcast. That was such a pivotal decision for me because I didn't wait nine months to start. I started when I did. I built up my audience all throughout that time and I went back and made little tweaks. I made a better intro. My recording equipment got better. I added video in later. It just started out as audio. So you will never feel fully ready. And if you're trying to align everything so that it's picture perfect to get started, you're gonna waste precious time when you could just put something out that's like at 90% and you will get to that 100% over time. The best part about podcasting is getting your message out there, interacting with new audiences, reaching people around the world. Why would you wanna wait to make that happen, guys? You could start now and improve it as you go. All right, you guys, I hope you are feeling a sense of relief. Those are eight things you should know before diving into the podcasting world. Again, if you guys enjoyed this and you found a lot of value in it, this is just scratching the surface of some of the things I want to share with you inside my podcasting course, how to successfully create and launch a podcast from scratch. Again, it is officially open for enrollment, so you can get everything I talked about today, these six full weeks of courses with me and a community group chat plus supportive documents. Enrollment will officially close on Friday, April 30th. Payment plans are available. There will be a link in the description box to register and find out all of the information on every single thing that is included in all of these modules. And with all that being said, I'm excited for you guys on your podcasting journeys. I hope to work with some of you. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you wanna see more podcasting content. And with all that being said, thanks for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.